what can you run with an Intel Atom processor? In today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be finding out. I went on eBay and found probably one of the cheapest computers that I could pick up. And I could hardly find anything that wasn't already completely destroyed or in terrible condition. But today, I want to test out the computer that I got with multiple programs and games and see how much it can run. In this video, we're going to be testing Google Chrome, Minecraft, GTA San Andreas, and finally testing the computer's performance against other computers. So without further ado, let's just see how good the Intel Atom processor truly is. Okay, today we're going to be reviewing the Intel Atom processor and seeing how well it runs games and stuff like that. So, without further ado, here it is. This is the computer that I'm going to be trying to run games on today. So, we're going to see exactly how this works and exactly how much of a beast this thing actually is. Alright, so basically all I got with this computer was just a charging cord and that's pretty much it. This computer is pretty much the only thing that it needs to come with. There's no mouse. Luckily, I have one, so we're going to use that right now. And now I hope this works because like I said, there is like no actual eBay or Amazon listings of things that were not used. So um, I hope this is like actually going to work and not be just you know, completely broken. Someone was probably letting their little kid play Tetris on this thing back in like 1990. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to think about this. And now there's a blue light on it, signifying that it is indeed on. And it is, at least for the most part, not entirely, you know, defunctional. All right, so when we open it up, we can instantly see that the display reminds me of a Nintendo 3DS. Not too impressive. Uh, I think it's like an 8 inch screen. Um, and I don't even know where the on button is. I think it might be here. There we go. Alright. Looking pretty good so far. Now obviously from this angle you're only going to see the front of the computer just like Keemstar in his uh, drama alert. But from this side I'm obviously going to be filming the actual computer itself. And on this whiteboard right here we're going to be recording the results of every single game we run and programs we run etc etc. Okay so this is an interesting background. Installing USB devices alright. So this is an Intel Atom processor. One of the best, most powerful, <laughs> cutting edge, state of the art processors you could ever invest in. All right, so I tapped the Google Chrome button and uh, let's just see how this goes. Just notice the recycle bin is actually already full. Google Earth Pro. Someone deleted Google Earth. Well, that's nice. At least, well, I guess you could run Google Earth on this thing. So yeah, the screen is uh, very impressive as you can see. Uh, extremely HD, wide, high def, 4K. I mean, literally, it's the best. Just to prove this is not clickbait, Intel Atom right there. All right, so here we are on youtube.com and it seems to be running quite slow, just a little bit, having a very hard time loading these videos. So for the time being, we're going to see how it performs when I look up my channel name. The screen is extremely like stretched, as you can see. Even my logo is just ridiculous. I mean, this thing costs 47 bucks, so I don't even know what you're expecting. All right, it's having an extremely tough time loading this it's very i don't want to say laggy but it's extremely it's it's delayed like it's trying so hard to make everything work that it's just it's it's having it's having like a seizure but now you know what we have to do we have to try out the google chrome no wi-fi dinosaur game all right as you can see we're getting a solid looking like 15 or something fps maybe 10 i'm not entirely sure i just might have to break my high score on this one it's actually lagging a little bit. We're getting actually a pretty bad frame rates. <laughs> We're getting like 10 FPS in the Google Chrome dinosaur game. So yeah. That's a pretty good sign. First things first is we're going to write down the uh, Chrome dinosaur game as being... You can't see it, but it says it, so... Alright, there we go. Downloading Minecraft. Minecraft installer. Yeah, MSI. We're getting like one FPS on the actual installer itself. So, another good sign. And now Minecraft is completely and officially installed on this beast of a computer. Let's try to see what we can do. I'm so excited to uh, make my first dirt house in the game. So I double click the game and it's been five seconds and it's just now popping up. Okay, good. Updating Minecraft launcher. Downloading update files. 
This shouldn't take too long. Oh, the fan just started kicking in. One eternity later. All right, so it finally loaded in Minecraft, and we are sitting here on the launcher about to uh, enter the complete unknown and uh, find out what happens when we run the game on this computer. It, of course, needs to download its uh, stuff, so we need to give it some time, okay? It's just perfecting the game. It's perfecting the experience. Three days later. Bro, how the frick am I supposed to play GTA San Andreas on this thing? Finally, we are actually getting into it. One megamite's remaining, and there we go. We're about to dive into the depths of Minecraft with Intel Adam. Please, is it actually going to work? It opened up a tab, it opened up. It actually didn't just go straight back to the launcher. Is it gonna work? Is it just gonna be a black screen? And it's gonna be a crash. Bad video card drivers. We can't run Minecraft on an Intel Atom processor computer. Okay, that's just, you just can't, you just can't do it, okay? But hey, maybe we can run a game that was invented in 2004. If it even has the capability of running Steam, updating Steam. We are actually running Steam on this, man. I can't believe it. This is gonna be freaking great. Uh, just kind of having a hard time understanding what's going on. I understand the computer's a little bit confused and just give it some time. Okay, so it appears that Steam has finally successfully installed. You're gonna have to install it onto the computer and uh, it's probably gonna take 11 years to do so. I mean, it's only like a, I think like what, two gigabyte games, so it really shouldn't take that long. It's it's more about the Wi-Fi, but at the same time, you don't, this computer, I don't, it seems to be having some issues with, with life in general, so I don't know, we, we can't just guarantee it's gonna work too fast. All right, so the game has finally downloaded and it actually only took like 15 minutes. So I wasn't being clickbaited there. They actually meant it. So uh, what we're gonna do now is just uh, play the game and see how it goes. Not sure how this is gonna work, but I mean, this game is pretty old. So just like this computer, there shouldn't be too much of an issue. And if there is, then uh, I really don't know what to say. I mean, so we actually launched the game and it worked, but then it crashed. So I fixed the resolution and this time, I hope it's gonna work, so. There's a logo going on there. So, um, yeah. Basically, all I had to do was just change the resolution. <sighs> we actually got the game running. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. It's taking so long to load, man. If we can get gameplay for an Intel Atom with GTA San Andreas, oh my gosh. Okay, come on, come on. Don't crash. Don't crash. <gasps> oh my God, it's laggy. <laughs> it worked. We're running GTA. We are running GTA San Andreas. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing, bro. Oh, look how much it's lagging. It's actually working. We are running GTA San Andreas on an Intel Atom computer. All right, so we're gonna get straight to the gameplay. I'm gonna see if if it's actually gonna work. Okay, all right, all right. Gameplay's actually pretty smooth. I don't know what's going on. Also, the keys on this computer are rather... Oh, crap. <laughs> hey, man. Why'd you get in the way? Everything actually seems to be working pretty fine. I, I don't even know how that's possible, but we actually have a working GTA San Andreas on, on this computer. All right, so the game just crashed. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, well, we actually played a decent amount. That was pretty dope. We actually got it to run. Uh, that's... More than what I was expecting. So basically after this, I tried to install this program, which would essentially check to see how good the computer is and then rank it up against other computers and gaming computers and see how well your computer can operate and stuff like that. But the problem was the computer was apparently so good that it couldn't even run the test. And by good, I mean the exact opposite, of course. Um, and yeah, I, I simply could not even run it. It wouldn't even let me try to uh, test the computer. So unfortunately I was not able 
able to do anything like that, so. But at the end of the day, we were able to run GTA San Andreas, which was quite a good accomplishment. However, I don't know how we were not able to run Minecraft if we could run GTA, so it doesn't really make much sense to me. But at the end of the day, that's pretty much all that I had in store for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I do recommend this computer if you definitely want to be able to play GTA San Andreas and Google Chrome Dinosaur Game at 10 FPS. And if that's your thing, then you're gonna have a great time with this thing. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.